I was going to have a more creative video this week, a more just a short film. Last week I kind of did a sit down video. It was a sit down video, but I don't like posting the same type of videos back to back weeks, but I had to make an exception. So what am I talking about here? Well, a YouTube buddy of mine, Beth Boulevard, an Australian filmmaker, she recently posted a video on her channel talking about something that really resonated with me. Go check out her channel. She is, like I said, an Australian filmmaker who makes a lot of experimental short films. A lot of the stuff that I've seen, it's some of the best experimental film that I've basically ever seen. And I'm not saying that lightly, so please go check out her channel. Back to what she was talking about in her latest video. It, it was basically a summary of her December and January and in the middle of that video though she mentioned something that like I said struck a chord with me because she makes a lot of short films by herself compared to like when you think about a short film or a bigger independent film you have actors you have people like manning different stations manning different gear when you're making the movie by yourself it almost feels like it's lesser than or inferior i felt this way a lot of times myself when i'm making my own short films sometimes it's just me who's the actor and who's behind the camera and it's just like is this really a short film and yeah that little inner critic in you starts talking because it's like wait a second okay especially for me who went to film school it's like you went to film school to make movies by yourself or did you go to film school to make movies with a cast or crew? Let me go back before I started YouTube. So my 2009 short film, Tracers, it's a horror short film. We had a red camera. We had a cast and crew of maybe 15 people. We built a set. We had like top of the line gear. I just looked around for a while and I was like, holy crap, I feel like an actual director. Compared to now where I just have my cheap tripod, my Canon DSLR, which is like maybe 10 years old, uh, some cheapy softbox lights, my Rode microphone right here. Well, it's a Sennheiser. Zoom H4n recorder over here. You may think, well, why are you worrying about this in the first place? Well, think about it. If I mentioned a director making a movie, if I told you that, what's the first image that comes to mind? Most likely, you'll picture a behind the scenes movie, a lot of people working on there, big cast, bigger crew, and that's the default image that comes to mind. And that's been so ingrained in us. For folks like us who make smaller short films, it really does make us think, am I wasting my time here? Am I cheating, like Beth said? Am I cheating by just making a movie all by myself? I have to make myself stop and think as well, because like Beth said in her video, Short films are their own type of genre. Experimental films are their own type of genre. Does that make them any lesser than the bigger films, the big Hollywood movies? No, I mean, smaller in scale, definitely, but lesser than? I don't think so. It all really comes down to what the audience thinks about it. I mean, I could tell people, hey, I shot Tracers with a, a red camera, blah, blah, blah. You know, but you're not gonna care. Don't get me wrong, gear will help improve things if you know what you're doing. But it's not automatically, it's not this magic pill. Just having a 4K camera isn't going to automatically make your movie look like Star Wars. Case in point, Tracers, like I said, shot with a big cast and crew, set was built, a lot of expensive gear was used, but I feel like I can make better stuff on my own with my 10 year old DSLR camera and my cheaper gear, not because, oh, well, the gear is making it better. No, I just have had a lot of trial and error filming on my own. So that's why I think I can make better stuff now than what I did over 10 years ago. Oh, nine, nine years ago, man can't do math today. So that's my conclusion right there. And you may think, like, wait a second, you just said in the beginning of the video that your stuff feels inferior, but at the end of the video, you're saying like, oh, well, no, it's not. It's like, why did you make this video in the first place? The reason why I made it in the first place is because I'm still kind of in that middle ground. Sometimes I'm thinking, okay, well, this, this film is good or crap. Maybe this one is inferior. It's a constant battle for me, but yeah, that's basically what's going on. Now, let me ask you guys this. Are you a filmmaker? Are you a playwright, painter, designer, a musician, anything like that? Do you kind of have this complex as well where the stuff you put out, do you feel like it's kind of inferior compared to like what the big guys are putting out? Or are you happy with where you are and are just like, well, it just it really depends on what the audience thinks. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know. Anyway, like I said, go check out Beth's channel. Awesome channel. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. I will talk to you guys next time. Take it easy. See you later.